Hello everyone. Hi you. This is Candace with Happy Catastrophe, Sister Min Bao, and I am sure happy to be here with you today, tonight. It's, let's set the stage. I'm in my cabin. It's dark. It's, I just got home from work. It's 8.30 at night. <clears throat> I'm a little tuckered out. Uh, I have some candles and incense on the uh, fireplace mantle burning. Uh, those candles are battery operated. <laughs> I don't currently have any wax candles or paraffin can or uh, soy candles or any candles right now in the house. They're so expensive. So I tend to use those. Plus they work great in a power outage. I have a, some, a cinnamon roll wax melt in my wax melt melter and that will start smelling about when the incense burns out. So it's going to smell really good in here. Um, I'd tell you who that was from, but I don't recommend those. I get my wax melts off of Etsy, and I have another store that I like better than the one that I bought that from. And then I am here with Matchstick Mouse. And we have uh, received our Prime Day purchases. They came in two days. That never happens. I don't know what's going on, but out here in the woods, I got it early. So I'm excited. So I'll show you what I was working on today. Um, today while I was at work, I started on another paint with water. I don't know if any of you guys have this one. Um, <clears throat> this is a great, these paint with water books are good. Um, I've had a lot of people get hold of me and there is a Harry Potter one that's available. This one is currently not available, it's sold out, but I think it'll come back. Uh, there's a Harry Potter one available. And then I have, and the Thomas Kincaid, which I have. Those are the ones I know of for sure. Um, this is the page I did, but this is the page I started on. It looks like the ink is much lighter in the sky, but you see what I mean? How it's the same colors. It's something in every paint with water book, it's always these same colors. So something about the injectable ink that they're using. Um, I'm excited to find out. I think you get all the same colors, just in different uh, varying intensities and in different placements, because every page looks different. So I'm excited to finish the rest of this probably tomorrow night or the next night. I work on this when my brain is fried and I don't, uh, I don't, can't make decisions. So I was working on that a little bit today, and I was also working some more on my werewolf. You want to see how far I've gotten so far? Look at that. He is pretty much done. Um, you know, his eyes, his teeth are still not done. I may add more to him, but I, I worked on the moon. I finished him up and then I worked on the moon and I started experimenting with some grays for the trees. He is really gonna be the main focus of this one. I'm really excited about how he's working out. I've been using those Tim Holtz Distress ink pen, uh, colored uh, pencils, they call them, and I really, really like it. So yeah, I worked more on that. That that had a lot of, sorry, I bumped you. That had a, I did a lot of that today. All right, so I thought I'd show you what I got for Prime Day. And believe me, some of it is very mundane, like supplements. <laughs> my doctor, uh, my nat the doctor for my, um, for my brain stuff, my myalgic encephalomyelitis, say that three times fast, basically just means problem COVID destroyed the cells in my brain. She wants me to take this now. Um, my protocol changes every few months as we go along. And I found it uh, at Prime Day, but it was still $11. I don't know about you, but um, I found this Prime Day to be a bit deceiving. For example, the Graby acrylic pens were on sale for $15, said they were down no, it was like $18. Said they were down from $40. Those pens don't cost $40. I bought them without a sale for $16. So some of this was like jack it up and then say it's it's on sale, but it's... No, so there was a lot of phony sales in this one. Or maybe it's always that way and I just caught it this time. Um, I got something fun. I got some yarn. So... I have found, I love to crochet. I also knit, but knitting to me is like, um, kind of like using pencils. Knitting is slow and tedious, a little bit harder on my hands and takes a long time. It's beautiful. I like the finished product better. However, 
I equate crocheting to like alcohol markers. It doesn't hurt my hand. It's fast. I get things done faster. So I crochet a lot. Um, I saw this yarn on Amazon and I've only bought yarn on Amazon once. And I'd forgotten if I liked it or not. This is Karen, though. Karen Yarn, Yarn Inspirations. And it's cotton, mercerized cotton. And it's so soft. And um, as a nun, I wear gray, grays and browns. And I want to make a cardigan. And I found some, I, I surf um, Etsy for patterns. And I found some great patterns um, from a couple different folks on Etsy. And... Um, so I'm going to make take one of those patterns, and I'm going to make myself a cardigan. Now, these came in packets of three, and they were $8 a piece. So that's like $24, which is pretty good price for a cardigan, if that's all I need. But it would be one that lasts forever, and I can wear it with all my robes. So that will work well. Great. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know how that goes. All right, let me look. I'm trying to make sure I have my orders pulled up so that you can see, hear the prices. Okay, wah, wah, batteries. These are AAA batteries. All of those that you saw in the picture, you know, those light. Actually, I think those are AA. Why do I need the, no, those are AAA. I need them for my lights. Uh, with my last power outage, which was a couple weeks ago, I we have power outages regularly here in the woods. Um, I need to make sure I have batteries because, and that battery, everything's fully charged because all of a sudden the power goes out. It's totally dark out here in the woods and I need to find my, all my battery operated lights. And I couldn't light up everything I wanted to light up because I didn't have triple A's. These go in those flickering candles. Yes. So I needed triple A's. Got these for $9 and there's 12 of them in there. Amazon basics. I tell you, that was the prime price, but I think that's also the everyday price of them. So I don't know about this prime day so far. Um, I got ink. I always need ink as color is printing things off of, off of uh, Etsy. We always need ink. But um, I also dabble a bit on, et on um, Etsy and sell these little... Uh, for card making supplies and I have to print these things out. And um, I suddenly ran out of ink. I mean, I say suddenly, it's been warning me for like three weeks. <laughs> but you know, similar to my change oil light, I wait until it's a crisis. So all of a sudden I needed ink. So I went online and this, I have a Canon printer. And if you have a Canon printer, which their Canon uh, has a great, printer series that's really good for printing out Etsy pages. Um, you know that ink is stupidly expensive. This is the best dupe ink I've found for the Canon printers. And it's it's not expensive. These together were, they're 20 bucks a box, basically. They were $40. I had some Amazon points, so I got them for 32. But um, they're 20 bucks a box where, you know, you're not going to get a Canon ink set for that much, not anywhere close. <laughs> so it's called Easy Ink, and it was recommended to me, so I recommend it to you. So um, you definitely want to make sure that your printer takes, I mean, there's lots of different Easy Ink, so make sure you know what numbers your printer needs. Um, but I hope I did this right. But these, these were the ones I bought before. I love it that Amazon saves my purchases, so takes care of my foggy brain. Okay, then I did get a couple of supplies. So check this out. What? Didn't that girl say she doesn't like colored pencils? Yes, she did. Is she a liar? No, she's a nun. She's not allowed to be. I actually have, um, <laughs> I have a few sets of pencils. When I first started coloring, I bought the Black Widows, and they were okay. And then I bought the Spear Farbens, and I liked them better. And that's what I've had forever. And then I bought just a few polychromos in a, a small pack of polychromos, and I learned what real pencils are like. <laughs> but I couldn't afford any more. Um, so then I saw the Color dropped, and it, it was... It, they had just launched that great big set, and it was really affordable. So I got them thinking this will be the, the pencil set for me. And I really do like the colors a lot. 
but they were not polys. Um, but out of all those sets, I don't have any soft pencils, really. And I'm not into the Prismas. I've gotten a small pack of them. I don't, I, I don't want to pay that much for a company that can't seem to get their hang, handle on quality control. I mean, split barrels and they're breaking and I just can't do it. So um, and plus they need, I mean, I would just use them up. But I had heard a lot of good things about Sue Color, and I had been watching people's pencils, and I watch every, all of your videos, and I think I got enabled a little bit because I certainly don't need any more pencils, but I really liked the colors of these. Um, as you know, polychromos is fantastic, but it's really good for like earthy stuff and realistic coloring. It doesn't have a lot of really fanciful colors. Um, so I thought I'd get something that complemented that. And I was just browsing, just browsing, just looking at Prime Day. And I, what did I get these for? Um, they were so affordable. This was the one, $9. I got 72 pencils for $9. And they aren't, from what I understand, they aren't crap pencils either. So... They come in a funny package. This is, I love that this is biodegradable and then it's cardboard, That I'm fine with that. But then it comes in these plastic trays. So pretty much useless. Um, I definitely have to get a case for them because this is, I can't store them like this or use them like this. There's more in there. Of course, the first thing I did when I opened it up, oh, nice. I'll definitely use that. No more pencils? Okay. The first thing I did was smell them. Ooh, look at that color. That is a favorite color of mine. If that's, it looks like it's that color. Let's try it. I'm not, oh, look at some of these colors are so bright. Oh, I love that yellow. Still don't have a real true yellow though. True yellow is really hard to find. Like this is all orangey and mustardy right here. And th these are earthy and great. Boy, those are some beautiful, rich earth colors. And there's some nice purples. I don't have very many purples either. A few blues, a few greens. But what I got my eye on is this, this orangey red. Now, do they have names? <laughs> it says red. <laughs> 022. Well, okay, let's try these two. I don't know. I've never tried Sioux colors. Um... But for $9, I thought, wow, you know, as a colorist who's starting to get a following, do you know I have 1,300 followers? There's 1,300 of you. I never did a past 1,000 mark celebration, and I owe it to one very specific colorist, J.I. Colorist. She did a big push. She saw that I was at 990-something, and she did a big push, and she brought a bunch of people to my channel, and I passed 1,000. And I love you so much, girl. I owe you big time. Um, let me, where's my sharpener? This is one of my favorite sharpeners for, this is the Prismacolor sharpener, and this is a favorite one for my, um, Polychromos. They sharpen well in here. They also sharpen well with my little metal Faber-Castell sharpener. But, um, this little thing, which somehow baffles me all the time, um, it only takes like a twist and it's pretty sharp but some pencils don't sharpen well in there. That's pretty good. Let's see what it does. Let's bring you down, bring you down, bring you down, bring you down, bring you down. This is 022. Wow, oh, why is red the first one? Okay, so I'm doing this like I know what I'm doing. Pretend that I do know what I'm doing. Ooh, that's with more pressure. Ooh, layered? I'm used to coloring very lightly because polychromos are my pencils. So I'm used to, that's light with just layers. But if you press, give it some pressure. Wow, that's actually pretty good coverage when you give it some pressure, but look at that bloom right there. Okay, let's try this. Let's try on the back because I'm just messing. Oops, it needs to be sharpened. I don't have that so bright. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that color. So that's light pressure. See, this is how I hold my polychromos. I hold them way back like this, and then I do real light pressure. And it pretty much looks like that. And then I have to go over them layered. That's not bad. That's two layers. 
Three layers. This isn't any kind of fancy paper either. Wow, these things layer really well. Huh. That's pretty. What happens if I give it a real good push? Huh, I think I like... Yeah, it definitely has a little more coverage, but I could not sustain that pressure. That would hurt. I kind of like this look better anyway. Wow! These aren't bad. They, I would say that they're softer than the Black Widows and the Spear Farbens, I think. Yeah, I don't think they're as squishy. They're not as squishy soft as a Prisma, and people will tell you that. That's not true. But, um... But I think they're gonna work for a softer pencil. And I think maybe they'll just work. I'll have to do a, a comparison with my polys to see if they'll supplement my polys. They may not supplement as much as I want because there sure is a lot of earthy colors in here and that's basically what polys are. So um, they may not supplement the way that I, as much as I want them to, but gosh, they're pretty. These colors, I kind of like them. Oh, and here's some metallics. You know, you always got to try a metallic. Aren't they disappointing, though? <laughs> a metallic colored pencil is always disappointing. I actually kind of like this this cheap set of fabric castells that I have. Um, I kind of like... Oh, that one broke. I kind of like those. They, uh, they do have some shine to them. All right, let's bring it back down. Whoa, sorry, folks. It's the first time I've actually done this on camera, like a real colorist. Ooh, that's really soft. That feels like butter. That's pretty. Pretend I know what I'm doing. Huh. If you push, ooh, that's pretty. That's with a much harder pressure. I could do only small patches of that. But that's kind of what you do is go, oh, that's kind of shiny. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I didn't expect that. All right. In their shiny stuff, they only have the gold and the silver, but these are now the best gold and silver shiny pencils that I have. These are better than the polys. Wow. Well, okay. I hope I wasn't too loud. For some reason, when I zoom in, there's me in my pajamas. When I zoom in my... Uh, my phone makes my voice louder. Like, I don't know why it thinks it needs to be louder. Um, gosh, I really, I, look at the way that catches the light. That's neat. Yeah, these are soft and easy to use. I'm kind of excited about them. I think I should practice coloring with them first before I do the swatch though, because that's probably not the best coloring I could do with that red, but I'm not sure how pigmented they are. Um, I don't think they're any brighter than anything else. They might be brighter than the polys though, but they're not gonna be like pig prisma level. But we'll see, we'll see. It's a cute little set. Um, this was 72 and it would be a nice travel set when I don't wanna take my expensive polys. Like I travel anywhere. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I go to work, but I take my polys because <laughs> polys. All right, we're just gonna set these right here because they're kind of fragile right without a case. All right, let me show you, let me move you so we have more room because this next thing is big. Okay, I'm gonna also take away my iPad, which is here telling me, how much did I pay for this? Just so I can tell you, because I'm so excited about this one. I paid $48. That's why I'm broke. <laughs> Okay. Ta-da! Look how big it is. You might see my pajamas again. Look at that. Holy cow, the thing is huge. This is, these are those pencils, let's see, that we were just looking at. Why am I doing this? Why am I measuring with fragile pencils? Look at that. Look how big this thing is. So, <laughs> little story. Um, I, uh... <laughs> I ruined my Hemi gouache. I had a cute little 24 set and used it a lot. And then I got distracted with other, with other mediums. And um, I saw Doodle Robots, uh, I'll cover that. I saw Doodle Robots uh, 
video on how to recon reconstitute them. So I did that to all of them, was using them. But somehow bacteria got in there and they molded. One day I opened it up and it had like mold growing over all of it. Now I was using water all the time to reconstitute it. I was not using the spray that Heaney makes for gouache so it doesn't mold, which I should have been spraying it with that. And they were a couple years old, but um, still, I didn't take very good care of them. So I knew I needed to replace them because I, I'm, I've done playing with all my new toys. I've now got all the, you know, I've got a lot of mediums and I wanted to get back to my gouache. And all I have is the Hemi uh, metallic set, which is more like glitter than a metallic. Um, and I miss my Hemi gouache a lot. Uh, my three paint mediums are the Tim Holtz watercolor sticks, my Rosa watercolor paints, which I really do like. Beautiful, bright colors. I love them. I'd like to get a bigger set. But gouache has that thick consistency that's very opaque that I love, that really matches my coloring style. So now, Hemi gouache on Amazon is really confusing. <laughs> there are so many different sets. This is 112 colors because this is the split pan, okay? Now, I had the full the full cups and I didn't care for the lid of it. But when I saw a video on this, look, this was the selling point for me to get this. Look, you can pop these suckers out by pushing on them. Do you know how hard it is to get one of those cups out of the regular Hemi? Because the regular cups have lips on them and the lips overlap. So if you want just that color, you have to kind of take off all the ones around it to pull that one out. It was a mess and it was annoying. And it was one of the reasons I didn't use it very much. Um, these are split pans, so they have comparable colors. So there's twice as many colors. And I, and I think that will help me keep them from molding because I'll use them up. I won't leave a cup open for two years. So th I thought this was brilliant. I wish all of their sets had the ability to just pop the thing out from underneath, but they don't. It's only this big two pan set that does that, but maybe they'll redesign the others too. And this big two pan set, this 112 set, is the only one that has this kind of a lid, which latches better. The lid on the other one was never very good latching. This one, the latches are all offset. So there's, it's on that corner that corner, then it's over here on this two corner, and it just lifts right up. Now this, I think, is a carrying, yeah, so you can carry it if you trust it. I, I never use these because I'm afraid the little pop off and I'll lose everything. Now underneath, you have the cushion, which I will totally keep on, it helps keep it airtight. The smaller one that I had uh, did not have this. So this helps keep the air out of it, which keeps the bacteria and the mold out of it. And then, Oh, does it not have, oh, does this stay in? Oh, I thought this lifted up and there was, so this one does not have a pallet. Just for the sake of science and tearing something up. No, this stays in. Okay, so this stays in. So this is, yeah, so this isn't the kind where the other ones you, you had a pallet that you take out, but unless you got the white case, the palette was a color and it was not helpful. So if you got, like I had the green one, so I'd take off the lid, take out the palette. Well, the palette's green. So then when I put paint on it, it the, the to mix things, the color's not true because I'm seeing that green. So, and they have all these fancy cute colors. This one's called Peach Fuzz. And um, I think this was the only color that was on sale for what it was. So I got it for the design because I think the design is better. Do I need 112 colors of gouache? No. Because it's paint, you can mix it. I can mix all these colors. I don't need 120 colors of gouache. Now, do I have... So here's all the colors. So see, who needs that many greenish yellows? I mean, I can mix and make these colors. I don't need all this. But I think, I, like I said, I think I can keep them cleaner they pop out of the pan much easier. See, they just pop out. See how the, okay, see, this is the problem. See how the lips overlap? So when you push up, that one came out great, but this one, I'm gonna have to like fin finagle it. But that's still, oh, you didn't even see that. So 
it's caught on the lip of this one, but I could kind of finagle it. That's still easier having my finger underneath pushing it than those others. And then you just open every single one of these suckers. Now, a lot of people like to leave leave the, the lip on here, the lid, until they use it just to keep... So in case this grayish tan is not, I knew, I know this is a color I would use though. Let me zoom you out so you can see better. Um, I knew this was a color I would use, so that's why I opened it. So it's grayish tan and beige tan. Like how different are these two colors? A little, but I could have made this color by just adding white to that color. How many whites do they have? That's always the big thing. A blue white. Well, let's see. Looks like just the one white. Now you need white. Um, the nice thing about the smaller sets is there's usually two whites in it. But this one looks like it's just got one somewhere that probably isn't in the same order. Um, so what I might have to do is Hemi sells a separate white that's a big pot of it, like a, like a big cup of it. And I might just buy that. They don't have white separate, which is fine because the white gets messed up in here anyway. I'm pretty messy. So my colors get mixed up all over. So it was really a pro and con. I don't need, I liked the big pans. I just found them awkward. I did make them grow live things. <laughs> I didn't like the design of the case as well. So I'm gonna try this. Um, at $48, that to me might, that might not be very much money for people, but that's a lot for me. That's a lot of money. I mean, that's a bag and a half of chicken feed. <laughs> That's a week and a half of chicken food for me. So um, I don't spend that easily. But it says shelf life three years, but that's probably that's probably not opened. Um, so it's not something to just try. If you're going to just try, get one of the smaller ones, uh, which I had and loved. I think that I wouldn't have invested this much money if I didn't love this brand. I think I think it's great. Real artists that use fancy gouache kind of, they still like this, but they kind of poo-poo about it because, you know, it's not fancy, fancy. But it works. I love it. I love it every time I use it. So now that I have all this, um, I'll let you know as I use it what I think of it. Um, is Are these tiny little, are these little things enough paint? Is it annoying having so many choices? I'm a little worried about that because I don't need a lot of choices. I'd rather mix my colors than have this many choices. Um, but then again, well, that's a warm and a cool, so I wouldn't mix those. But do I like it? And can I think I will keep this. And I think I also, having the underside that I can see them, of course I'll swatch, I say that. <laughs> You know I'm not going to swatch. <laughs> I just say that to sound like I know what I'm doing. Um, but you can see the colors under here, which is, this is a beautiful look. So I can also use this to, to pick my colors out until I get them, until they're all unwrapped. And I'm, but if I'm not going to use a color, I'm not going to unwrap it. Although I can see myself using everything in here. These greens are just really pretty, aren't they? Can you see it? It's a pretty dark greens. And so many yellows. I need these yellows, especially that really light, that ye lemon yellow there. I need that one. And these beautiful pink. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. You just don't need this many. So if you want to try Hemi, bottom line, don't go for the 112 colors with half pans. But um, try one of the ones with the full pans, the smaller sets. Save your money. You'll probably find them at a good deal. And um, and don't get the one with the, um, I think you can get like a 24 and a 36 and then you can get like a 48. Okay, the 48, it's 48 because it has a few metallics, a couple of metallics, and then a bunch of neons. The Hemi Neon Gouache is terrible. It's really terrible. And the metallics are nothing to spend that kind of money on. You can get a separate metallic set that's a whole bunch of metallics, which I don't have here right next to me or I'd show you but it's all metallics all different colors so I wouldn't do the 48 set you're buying paints you're not going to use so 24 or 36 there's a 16 set buy one of those but don't get the, anything with the neon paints because that's you're wasting your money those are really bad the neon, they're very very transparent and they're not really neon they're basically glow in the dark is what they are they call them neon but they're really just glow in the dark and they're terrible 
So this was my big purchase. Now, it was 48 on Prime Day. So I would be interested to know in a couple days what the real price is because I kind of feel like it shouldn't be more than $48. So I don't think I got a deal on this. I think the biggest deal was those suit colors for $9 or $8, whatever they were. I don't think I got a deal on this, but I think it's worth $48 but I don't think it's worth any more than that. Now, the last thing is to say I love you, but the very last thing is I also got a Happy Mail. I did not expect this. This is from Carol, and she sent me this all the way from Wisconsin. And I was like, what in the world? And it wasn't ticking, so I opened it. <laughs> Carol. But I haven't really looked. I don't know really what's in here. Is there any kind of a note or anything? I like to feel for notes first. Hmm. <gasps> what is this? Oh, there's a note. Carol, what? Oh, it's the it's it's the oh gosh it's it's the monkeys it's the um oh I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited I was just last night sitting here in a funk wishing I had these because oh I have something that I need to use these on okay oh wow you didn't get these on. Amazon, did you? Oh, look at that. These are the oil pastels, the regular colors. I have the oil pastels. Oh, I put them away. I have the set that's this size, but they're all metallic. And they're great. And I just used them on a page. And that was the page. It's too shiny because it's metallic everywhere. And I actually think they call them pearlescent, but it means metallic. These are the regular matte colors. And these are the colors that I needed for that page. And now I'm so excited because I'm doing so many pages this month. And I really, really want to figure these out. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're so pretty. See, and I'm not one to use my fingers. I use a blending stick. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you it this way. What's this red look like? Oh, and look at these, look at these earth tones. Isn't that neat? And the greens and blues. I wonder, ooh, that looks like it might be kind of bright, huh? Let's try this. Pretend I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, this is what I needed. So these are matte and these are oil. So I tend to use a blending brush. Um, I use blending stumps. Let me grab one because I talk about them all the time. Do I ever show you what they are? Yes, I think I have. This is a blending stump. And you just use sandpaper to sand it off to make it clean again. So with a blending stump, so you might do something like that. And then with a blending stump, you can really get it in directions you want. You can get it in corners and stuff. And I think it retains more of the pigment on the paper. See, that's a lot brighter than that. But if you use your finger, well, I just used pink. But if you use your finger, your finger also melts it and can really melt it into the paper. So whatever, whatever floats your boat. But these are beautiful. These are the best oil pastels. And I think you'll hear many colorists do that. I know that um, Colored with Maya likes the Mungio uh, Galleria, Gallery made by Mungio. These are the Aquarelle. Oh, I forgot to tell you that part. <laughs> Pretend I know what I'm doing. These are water soluble. That's why use water to paint with to color with them so what can I do to use water well let's just put this is just let's just put a few pieces <laughs> I'm 
pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's zoom back in. I'll show you really how to use these. What was I thinking? I do use them with my finger though, but these are the aquarelles. See? Aquarelle. The Mungio Galleria, those are regular oil pastels that you rub. And you can rub these, but they work better when you use a little water. Oops, that's not, my brush isn't wet enough. See? They actually turn into like a paint. Now this is lined paper like kids graphic paper but see you, you can use them like paint you can also the way i like to use them is put them on a palette yeah yeah it is it is the lid to a takeout chinese dinner i like to put them on a palette and then get them wet and make them into a paint and then you can paint with them and they're really pigmented that way so yeah, if you do that, I have smaller lids. All of my palettes are just bits and pieces from takeout food. <laughs> but you can do like this and it makes an oil pastel paint and then it's quite pigmented. And that's how, that's how they're best used <laughs> rather than this. You can use them like that and you can activate them with, with liquid. I mean, they can be activated on the paper, see? And they're very pigmented. They're lovely, they're absolutely lovely. And I like them because they're watercolor, because I can, I don't have to use so much pressure in my sore hands. I can use, I can let the water do all the work. So Carol got me the regular oil pastels, which I really wanted these extra soft water soluble. Yeah, they really are. I mean, you can see they get everywhere, but they're, Beautiful. So now I have them in the matte and I have them in the pearlescent, the shiny reflective ones. And that's perfect. That's all I need. For me, these are my Neo Color 2s. For those of you that have Neo Color 2s, I'm not sure why you'd need um, aquarelle oil pastels, um, water soluble oil pastels, because that's what you do with Neo Colors 2. And I'm pretty sure that's what they are. So you don't need these. But if you don't have Neo Colors 2, these are cheaper. And they're great. I love them. Yay. Oh my gosh, Carol. <laughs> you are amazing. I think you must have been reading my mind because it's, I have come the last week, every time I've sat down to color, I was wishing I had this medium because I had something very specific in almost every page that could have used these. Oh, I'm so excited. They're great for backgrounds, super great. So that's kind of really how I wanted to use them was in backgrounds. And you know, and you can just paint with them like paint and do pictures like that. Oh, I love you so much, Carol. Oh, you are amazing. And I don't even know your Instagram handle. Um, I have your name here, but I don't, there's no other note. I have no idea who you are. So you must reach out to me. Say hi to me. I want you to be my friend. <laughs> these come, and you want to keep these in there because they are messy and that keeps them safe and clean. Yeah, Carol, be my friend. I want you to be my friend. So that was what I got for Prime and Happy Mail, something that came out of the blue right when I need it. And as long as you're not zero to three, <laughs> sad baby face you can play with those so those are my fun Mastic mouse rolled way over there and went to sleep so these are all my wonderful wonderful little sioux color and that huge hemi gouache when i picked up jack today from my parents house uh my mom was remarking about how well i'm looking and feeling and things are getting better and she said so Go home and don't color. Go to bed. And I just looked at her and she says, Candace, I know that look. And I was like, bye. And I drove away with Jack. Because <laughs> you know I'm going to color. I'm so going to color because now I have new toys to play with. Oh, isn't that a pretty color? Look at that color. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty blue. And that pencil isn't even sharpened. Ah, I'm going to have fun with these Sioux colors. So let me know what you got for Prime uh, for Prime Day. If you have a YouTube channel, please do a video because I love to see what people get. 
It's how I live vicariously through other people. And especially tell me what you think of Sioux Color pencils. Um, was it worth nine bucks getting 72 of them for nine dollars? And um, let me know how you use them best. Are they light pressure and layered or do they need more pressure? And, you know, where have you found, what papers have you found they work with? Do they mix, play well with other pencils? I really don't know much about pencils. So please do, please do give me some, give me some edumacation and have a wonderful evening. I hope everything is going well with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>